A few weeks back, we talked about the Wyoming Game and Fish Department's request to elk hunters to submit blood samples from harvested elk. Now for 2022, lymph node samples for chronic wasting disease testing are requested across Wyoming in key deer and elk hunt areas, with six deer hunt areas being mandatory for sampling. The department has tracked the distribution and prevalence of chronic wasting disease since 1997 to better understand how it affects the health of Wyoming's deer and elk populations. Hunters submitted samples from harvested animals are crucial to managing the disease in wildlife herds. Game and Fish hasn't sampled some of these herds for testing this year in a while and needs a significant sample size to more accurately determine what the CWD prevalence is in these herds. 29 deer herd areas are being targeted for 2022, with deer hunt areas 59, 60, 64, 65, 157, and 171 being mandatory testing areas. Hunters who harvest mule deer in these areas must submit a lymph node sample from their animal for testing. Areas 157 and 171 are mandatory for both mule deer and white-tailed deer. A substantial number of usable samples are required each hunt season so that Game and Fish can compile the best possible data. As with the brucellosa surveillance, in return for samples, hunters may be eligible to win thousands of dollars in hunting gear. 37 elk hunt areas are targeted. Hunters outside of the surveillance areas can still submit a sample from their animal for testing. A how-to video is on the Game & Fish website. The department can take a sample for you at any open game check station, the Game & Fish headquarters in Cheyenne or regional offices from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Results from CWD testing are available online within three weeks and can only be learned by checking the Game & Fish website. Continued monitoring of CWD over time is important to help Game & Fish understand the impacts of the disease on deer and elk. Samples also give the department information to inform future management decisions, such as license types offered, license quotas, seasons, and future disease monitoring protocols. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.